So hello everyone. My name is Mary Grace Calextro and for today's video, I'm going to tackle about the topic art making in seeing and since. So next please. What is art? It is the expression of idea and emotion through a physical medium like painting, sculpture, film, dance, writing, photography, or theater. If you love the creative process, maybe you'll devote your life to art. Next, um, art making is a fun and rewarding way for people to express themselves and learn a broad range of skills and concepts. So, art making express idea and feelings in artwork, undertaking step and process to create artwork, experimenting with medium and tools to present ideas, adapting process, and the next one, So we have five pages of art by more. So the first one um inspiration. So inspiration is um an exciting moment in creating art. So inspiration artists get inspiration from a variety of sources, including nature, media, people or other artists artwork and personal experience for example as an artist you can draw inspiration from any of the following sources just like film or movie so we have a lot of common sources of inspiration just like staring at the people and sketching them from life look through art book, look at work from different cultures. And the next one is percolation. It is refining your ideas before making an art. So um, basically this is the time that elapses after you had your ideas, but before you start making art, um, the next one is preparation. So, preparation is a more active and focused time to create blueprint. So, includes the time of spent obtaining and organizing your supplies, plus creating a blueprint for what your piece will be. And next, please. can be vary depending on your personal temperament, artistic style, and medium. So creation, it can help you disrupt conventions for new root and make the and unique association between ideas, concept, emotion, memories, symbols, or even the object and the next and the last one is reflection will vary depending on the artist so reflection this statement are ways for artists to document their thoughts things about how they accomplish their objective and share their process with her audience um, it means for anong ginawa ng artist, it can also reflect that his or her per own personality. And uh, a five senses also very important to we may not actually be able to feel or hear the object and senses depicted in a painting 
artists can invite us to use a variety of our senses when we explore a work of art, encouraging us to imagine the texture, smells, and even taste of what is depicted. And that would be all, thank you. So next is art's ability to flex our imagination. So for some people, they use art to express their feelings or to flex what they are thinking. So in order to do that, you need to consider first what kind of drawing tool to use. So some people use paper, some are using uh, cardboards or like canvas so you need to choose what tool you're using you're going to use and next, next is what color to use so for me this is like one of the most important because if you do not follow the proper using of colors you are like um, distracting or doing the, the different meaning of it so you need to be careful like for example in for some artists the, they they are very uh, they are the focus on the color that they use especially on like red for them they it it emphasizes uh, love or a uh, blood so you need to choose wisely what color you need to to use and next is how to put what you see onto the paper so for me it is the most uh, difficult thing especially for those who are not into the art they are have difficulties to draw or paint but for some reasons they can express their feelings even though it is not really good but they can still do what is the best for them so next is seeing and sense next human experience is now more visualized than ever before and yes it is true because now you can easily uh, see or look for some arts from different artists so just one click on the internet or the social media you can see you can already see the arts of the, uh, the known artist and next is Seeing is an automatic sociological function we perform without thinking. And yeah, so in just looking on the picture, you can, you're already doing that thing. So just look at it and you need, you don't need to think about it. And next is, on the other hand, it is a complex of observing process. So on the other hand, there is a process that just like looking at the picture you can imagine or or you can understand what is the meaning of it and example of it is this sign one way this sign is very important for those drivers so if the drivers see it they can figure out that they are not allowed to counter flow because it is not allowed for the traffic enforcers and next is the pedestrian lane so just looking at the picture you can understand what is the meaning of it and the third one is do not enter 
forward is more U turn. This signage you can usually see on the crossing. And fifth, speed limit. And the sixth one is stop. So, by doing it or analyzing the, the meaning of it, you are doing the semiotics. So, what is semiotics? Semiotics is an effective tool for analyze, analysis because it deals with the sign, signs anything that stands for something. So, as I search on the, the website, I, I found out that the, the meaning of semiotics is the study of signs and symbols and their use or interpretation. So, by by doing on internalizing or understanding the picture or the signage or the art that that process or study we call semiotics so i think that's gonna be all and sorry that's all thank you